Hello students, I am Sir Glenn, your subject teacher. Welcome to General Mathematics Grade 11. Our second lesson is all about evaluating functions. Paano nga ba mag-evaluate ng isang function? So in this lesson, you have to recall GEMDAS, which stands for Grouping Symbols, Exponents, Multiplication, Division, Addition, and Subtraction. When asked to simplify two or more operations in one algebraic or numerical expression, the order of the letters in GEMDAS indicates what to calculate first, second, third, and so on until a simplified expression is achieved. Evaluating functions To evaluate a function means to substitute or replace the variable x with a given value. That value can be a constant term or an expression. So kapag nag evaluate tayo ng isang function, ang sinasubstitute natin sa lahat ng variable x, pwedeng constant term, pwedeng numbers lang, or pwedeng algebra expression or yung may mga variables. F of A denotes that F will be computed by replacing all the variable X in the functions with the value A. Examples Evaluate the following functions. Number 1, F of X is equal to 3X minus 1 at X is equal to 2. Second one, G of X is equal to X squared minus 3 times X plus 4 at X is equal to negative 3. For the solution, watch this video. Here are the examples of evaluating a function. So, first one, we have, we find the value of the function, which is equal to 3x minus 1, if x is equal to 2. So, how do we do that? Uh, we substitute the given value of x to all the x's in the equation of the function. So, we have times 2 minus 1. So, saan ang galing si 2? Yun yung given na x to as a problem. So, anong ginawa ko? Pinalitan ko lahat ng x to as a given ng 2. Okay? So, simplifying further, we have 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. So, the value of the function is x is equal to inside the parentheses. Okay, so negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3 which is positive 3. Times we have negative 3 plus 4 is equal to positive 3. Times we have negative 3 times 1 is 3 again which is equal to 3. So 9 minus 3 we have For a second example, evaluate the following functions at x is equal to 3. f of x is equal to x minus 6, x squared minus 4x plus 7, cube root of x squared plus 3x minus 1, x squared minus 5 all over 3x plus 7, and the absolute value of x minus 6. For the solutions, watch this video. value for x for the five examples is 3. Okay, so start with the first example. We have 3 plus 4 is equal to 6. Simplify 
For the third example, in f of x is equal to 3x plus 4, evaluate the function at f of 2a plus b and f of x squared minus 1. So, ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina. Uh, in evaluating a function, uh, there are two ways. Pwede ang, ang gagamitin nating value ni a ay constant term. Pwede ang isasubstitute natin ay uh, may mga variables like in this example. For the solution, watch this video. So, in evaluating functions, hindi lang uh, real numbers yung pwede i-substitute. Okay, we can also substitute uh, other algebra expressions like monomial, uh, binomial, trinomial. Okay, so in our example, we are asked to evaluate f of x is equal to 3x plus 4 kapag ang uh, isa substitute natin kay x ay ang monomial na 2a plus b. Okay, so process, we, we distribute these all the terms inside the parentheses. So we have 3 
times n squared is 3x squared. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, and then we copy or you count positive 4. So as you can see, there are constant terms here. What are constant terms? Those are the terms without variables, okay? Without visible variables. For the fourth example, for what values of x can we not evaluate the function f of x is equal to x minus 6 all over x squared minus 9? The question is, ano daw values ni x ang uh, imposibleng magamit upang ma-evaluate natin ang function na ito? Paano kaya? For the solution, watch this video. Okay, so this is a harder example. So what if uh, the problem goes like this? For what values of x can we not evaluate the function f of x is equal to x minus 6 over x squared minus 9? So take note, uh, kung ganyan yung problem, our focus there is uh, the values of the x which can meet the function Undefined. So in short, we focus our attention kay denominator. Okay? Kasi kapag nag-zero sa denominator, magiging undefined yung, yung function. Ibig sabihin, it's impossible for us to evaluate a function kapag yung given na value ni x ay uh, kapag snapshot natin yung value na yun, it will meet this zero. It will, it, it will meet the denominator zero. So for, for this question, uh, we try to look for the values of the denominator that will make the function undefined. Okay? So bring it down to the denominator. Squared minus we try to weight less zero. So as you can see, there are two ways in solving for this one. Uh, those ways are are introduced to you during in high school math. Can directly uh, transpose negative sign to the other side. Okay, so doing that, we have so the root of transposing negative nine, uh, it will become positive. Subtracting square root, we have uh, we square we subtract the square root, square root both sides. So square root of x square is x. So square root of nine is positive and negative. Okay, so that means values ni x na uh, hindi natin pwedeng i-evaluate yung function na ito ay c3 at c3 negative 3. Understood? So, our answer here is c3 So, the second method is trying to figure out the, the values of x here how? Using the factoring method. Okay, so As you can see, uh, both terms are perfect square. So we use the difference of two squares for beta. So this can be factored out this way x minus 3 and x plus 3. So using the zero factor property, uh, we can equate both factors to zero. So this will be x minus 3 is equal to zero and x plus 3 is equal to zero. So transposing negative 3. Have x is 3 and transposing positive 3, we have x will be negative 3. So, as you can see, kahit anong method, kahit anong jang, ading method jan ang gamitin niyo, uh, you will arrive at the same answer. Okay? That's it for this lesson. For the activity, do activity 3 on page 13 in your notebook. Again, submission of all the outputs. Uh, will be on Friday.